I welcome you again to this episode of Physical Geography, where today we are going to base on different questions asked in national exam. Today we are going to start by unit number one, which is weather and climate. Weather and climate. So on this unit of weather and climate, they have asked six questions in national exam. Question 1, question 2, question 3, question 6, question 11, and question 16. So I want you to watch this video relating to questions and answers asked in national exam. And those questions are arranged according to the unity title. So let's start by question number 1. Question number one is asking, what is a weather station? What is a weather station? A weather station is a place where elements of weather are measured and recorded. Is a place where elements of weather are measured and recorded. And now, this question one, it has sub-question A, which is to define a weather station, and we also have sub-question 1b. Sub-question 1b, sub-question b on question 1 is state three, state three factors to be considered when setting up a weather station. So meaning that there are some factors that one can refer on when setting up a weather station in a certain place. So, the answers include the following. The factors that to be considered when setting up a weather station, number one, it should be in an open space, so meaning that the site should be in an open space so as to allow free movement of air. So, point number two, the place should be far away from building or trees. The place should be far away from building or trees. The place should have secured from intruders. So meaning that a place should be in an area where there is security. The place should be relatively flat. So which means it should be flat, the site should be flat so as not to be affected by floods. So this was question number one. Question number one. Then remember that this is national exam of 2015. So we shall also have 2016, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 21, 22, 22, 23. So all questions about unity of weather and climate we shall cover in different episodes. Then question number two. Question number two, it was out of two marks, and it is asking, name two types of fog. Remember that fog is one of the type of, uh, or one of the form of precipitation. And the question is asking to name the two types. So we have several types of fogs, and the, 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 the fog given are the most important. So we have heat fog, advection fog, front fog, and steam fog. So those are the major importance types of fog. And this question was out of two marks, and any two correct type were reserved for two marks. And question number three. Outlying two characteristics of thermosphere. So the question is asking the characteristics of thermosphere, and it has two marks. It was out of two marks. So point number one, it contains electrons and ions. So meaning that uh, thermosphere contains electrons and ions. It is the farthest layer of atmosphere. So meaning that it is a layer of atmosphere which is very far compared to other layer of atmosphere. Number three, temperature increases with an increase in altitude. 
So meaning that in this thermosphere, temperature rises as altitude also rises. We have question 11. Question 11 is asking, briefly describe three characteristics of crowd, Silas crowd. So this question is, require, is, is, is requiring to give three characteristics of Silas crowd. So, and the question has three marks and each characteristic this is reserved for one mark, meaning that the students need to give like three points, three characteristics. Characteristic number one, they are the highest crowds in the atmosphere. So meaning that this is the highest crowd in the atmosphere, serious crowd. They are made of ice crystals. They are made of ice crystals. They yield no precipitation. So meaning that Silas crowd do not provide rain for, they do not provide precipitation. They are white in color. They have white color. So, yet they have white color, they can't even produce or provide rain for. So, those are questions that were asked in National Exam 2015. And this is the episode number one. And next time, in episode number one, we have a question. Question one, question two, question three, and question eleven. So on the next episode, we shall be dealing with question, question number six and question number sixteen. And it will be on this national exam on 2000. 15. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe, to like, to give comment so that we can keep on improving our teaching and learning practice. Have a nice time.